have that? I, I do. I've got all of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's a living velour. <laughs> I mean, that... George Costanza said if it was socially acceptable, I'd be in Scotland in velvet. So. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Sorry. I guess with, with what those guys brought, just from production and from energy, was this kind of emblematic of everything that they brought to your program? Yeah, it, it was. It was the perfect night for our seniors to go out the way they did. And you know, I told them after the game, I, I'll never forget my senior night. It still burns me up inside. We got beat. I was three for sixteen against Oklahoma, and it was uh, it was a miserable night. And I still think about it. I went home and I kicked a lamp over and broke it, and um, you know, it still lives with me. So to send these guys out like that was was perfect a perfect ending <clears throat> you know it's just it's sad uh emotional you know that's Kase Tomonaga's last game in Pinnacle Bank Arena for everything that he's been through in the last three years and what he has meant to our program and what Josiah has given us in a year is just absolutely remarkable and you know it's just uh, you know, for Josiah setting the tone for us in those first couple possessions, you know, our guys, they were all over the place early in that game. And, you know, we just got out toughed in the game at Piscataway. And, you know, Kevin McHale was here in the game today. You know, he's, he's a mentor to me. I, I played under him. I, he was my coach. And I worked with him in the front office and, you know, took a lot of things from him. And he said he wanted to come in and say a few words to our guys after the game. And that's all he talked about was just the effort and how much he loved watching us out there competing and you know the first five minutes everybody was down in a stance and not quitting on plays and all over the glass and when you got a top 50 player and you know Charles Barkley said he's the best player I ever played against you know talking to the guys about effort and uh, sacrifice and playing for the guy next to you you know it's a pretty cool message so you know it's just a, a fun night proud of them and uh, you know we'll get a good chance to get some off days this week with the bye week and, uh, you know, get ourselves prepared to put a game plan in and, uh, you know, hopefully finish this thing the right way next Sunday. What did you see as the difference on the boards from in Piscataway to tonight? Well, I, I, I thought we were offensive glass especially. We, we were relentless. We were all over the place. That put back dunk by Jawan. Um, but, again, it started with Josiah early in that game. You know, Bryce got in there, got a couple as well. And they, they still, you know, got uh, – 19 I mean that's a lot that's a lot of offensive rebounds but you know we battled with them we got we got 14 of our own and that's who they are it's what they do um you know we, we talked about uh rebounding and taking care of the ball hell we improved by six they got 25 when we played them in New, New Jersey so you know just uh again I thought the effort was exactly where it needed to be they're so good they play so hard uh that Rutgers team you know Steve Peichel's done a, a fantastic job with a lot of injuries that they've had you know Mag is such a huge part of that team and, uh, and and they guard you, man. They just they, they they are all over you. So you know to find a way, and we just couldn't quite pull. You know we missed I think four out of five free throws, and then Casey misses a you know point blank layup, and you know they just kind of hung right there. So you know if we would have finished plays, you know I think it could have been a better uh, margin. But you know we got the win, and that's the important thing. Coach, there's a sense of pride in finishing at home, 18 and one this year, perfect in Big Ten play. Just talk about that. Yeah, it, it is, and you know to find a way. I, I, I think it was the most wins in, in the history of the program in, in a home building, and you know find a way to go undefeated in, in an incredibly difficult league. Uh, you know, had an unbelievable win against you know, the number one overall seed in, in Purdue. I thought our guys uh, were really on point with everything that we did uh, this season at home. Now, hopefully, we get one more chance on the road. We go out and play well and give ourselves a chance next Sunday. But, you know, just it's fun to share this with the fans that made uh, PBA what it is this year. I mean, they were so pat. That crowd tonight was absolutely phenomenal. And to be able to share this with them, you know, the perfect Big Ten record is, is, is awesome. And, you know, I can't even express how thankful we are uh, that this place has become one of the greatest venues in college basketball. And they were here through the tough times as well. So it's fun to be able to share uh, with them a special season like we had this year at home. You talked about the seniors in your intro some, but the, the KSA four-point play, was that kind of a fitting moment, Is that specific play? And the, was that kind of the one you felt like gave you that oomph you needed, I guess? Yeah, I mean, that play and, the, and getting to the free throw line as well, I thought he did a nice job of, uh, of attacking, especially when we got into the bonus and creating contact. And yeah, that four-point play was, was enormous. And, you know, he missed a couple before that, that that I thought were right there, right on line, that he just barely missed. And, you know, it's just 
it's who Kese is, man. He just finds a way to make huge plays, and you know, pressure does not bother him at all. And he's shown that time and time again in his time at Nebraska. What did you like about your defensive performance today? Well, again, the start. I, I love the start. I thought we went through a little bit of a lull there where we weren't finishing off possessions. Uh, but if we can get off to a start like that, that, that again, that sets the tone, shows the other team you're coming, you're for real. And, you know, I thought we sustained it pretty much, uh, you know, the, the entire game, like I said, with the exception of giving up a few too many um, <clears throat> offensive rebounds. But, yeah, it was uh, a, a good effort overall, I thought, uh, defensively. I thought we contested well. Or our contests were spirited and, uh, and found a way. I think we held them to eight in transition. They hurt us and exposed us on that uh, earlier this year as well. What did it mean to, to have Kevin in the building? Yeah, it was it was really it was really cool. Like like I said, I mean he's he's one of my favorite guys. I, I just love working with him. Just to sit, you know, Kevin can talk now. I mean, I I played for Larry Bird and Kevin McHale. I think I'm the only guy in the history that played for both those guys. And it was almost impossible to get a word out of Larry. I mean, it was like, you know, when he said something, it mattered because he uh, he was a man of few words. But when he spoke, obviously with his pedigree, um, you know, you were sitting there on pins and needles with with McHale I mean he would just sit there all all day and talk to you and just talk about spacing and talk about the game and and uh, you know he's a uh, uh, he, I played golf with him earlier this year and he just has a whole crowd around him and he just loves telling stories about the old Celtics days it's really fun and cool he's a special human being and to have Kevin here tonight to, you know he wanted to come back and see this game he'd heard a lot about PBA and uh, yeah I'm thankful that that Kevin uh, came for this this last one. It was great to see him. Thanks. 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 Thanks.